Hi everyone, it's Gail back with another craft with me. Today I'm going to make some journaling cards for the Lorella journal. We're going to work on that a little bit today. But first I want to say hi and hugs to Sammy, Jody, Sharon, and Gina. Thank you so much for watching the videos and for your comments and just being part of the big old fam here. So thank you and onward and upward. We have got to make some larger, um, larger journaling cards for a couple spaces and I need four of them, I think. So I have <clears throat> Daphne's diary pages that I have cut in half. They've been folded in half and cut in half. So that's what we're going to use. Um, I pulled out some of my digitals, some of the, the coffee dye digitals and the eco dye digitals. Got some paper to use in these. And then, <laughs> this was funny. You guys will love this. Look what I found. I found purple things, all sorts of purple things that um, I had put aside because I figured they could go with the Prima paper, right? Well, <laughs> I sort of forgot about them until I was almost done with the journal. But there's some stuff in here we can use. Um, this was a bunch of dyed stuff from my friend. Then um, this little packet here is a bunch of stuff. Um, I got a, a purple kit from Denise at a Tattered Dream. And it had all these fibers and lots of fun stuff in it. Napkins and ephemera and stuff. So, yeah, there you go. And it's like, that was kind of buried in my craft room. Lots of scraps of, um, scraps of the paper and more napkins in here that are purple. So... I'm not sure what that was too. I'm going to toss it. But yeah, so look at these napkins. Aren't those cute? Yeah, so had those all in there. Hi, boy. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of it all, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, um, we've got lots of stuff to play with, all that to say. So I just have it all in this little box and had it on one of my shelves. And I was like, oh yeah, there's all my purple stuff. So we might grab something out of there too. I don't know. Um, okay, so I know one of these journal cards needs to be upright for the um, belly band, wherever it is in here. Um, Ooh, belly band, where are you? There it is. Yeah, so I want one to be to go up and down, and it's going to go in the belly band there. So I know that. Um, and then I don't, was I thinking, I might have been thinking of putting them behind here. So those would need to go up and down if that's the case. Let me just real quick, oh, one here. So that needs to go up and down and needs to be more kind of embellished at the bottom. That's right. So maybe we're maybe we're up and down on all of them. Should make something for in there too. That's not part of the four that I had. Oh, something here. Something there. Those two were the other two. Okay. Okay. I'm refreshed. So now it's all it's all this way is what we've got. Got the sweatshirt on this morning. A little chilly. Boy, it feels like fall. It's crazy. It's just like, it just flips on a dime, doesn't it? Okay, so let's, let's get started. Oh, darn. I meant to um, print out another piece of um, Tracy's Lorella just to use as as some um, collage stuff, but I forgot. So let's get Tracy out here. Where are you, Tracy? See if I, Tracy. 
Gracie Fox. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, let's see if there's other Tracy things we might want to use in here. All sorts of Tracy stuff printed out. See if we can. I mean, there's there's words from various of her kids. These are and. Let's just see what we've got here. I thought, yep, I think we've got we've got some of this, which isn't doesn't go super well. So yeah, this is just a bunch of other of Tracy's kits. Let's do some of that and possibly that. I don't know why the darker isn't well, maybe that. Sorry, can't get them apart. This blue might not be too bad. All right. These are cute little strips. Bluer though, aren't they? Oh, really? Any of Tracy's papers are so good for collage, aren't they? Okay. And then those are minis. Tiny embellishments is what those are. Just little cards. Tags and stuff and things, lots of stuff and things of Tracy's that are just left over from other projects. Oh, I love this paper. Okay, but I think, I think we have what we need. Okay, I'll set that stuff up there. You know, just in the midst of making a giant mess as I always do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. I wanted one of these light ones, didn't I? use this one use some of this and some of that let's see where can I put that I'll put that there running out of room already I have you kind of zeroed in so I hope you're going to be able to see okay um let's get let's get to Taryn here oops I've got myself in a muddle. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I didn't sleep very well last night. I just have, I have too many things going. I have a lot on my brain. And then this morning at 7.30, you know, one of my favorite things about being retired is being able to sleep in, right? Well, not while they're redoing the street out front of your house. That's... <laughs> just doesn't happen. So beep, beep, beep. <laughs> What's happened first thing this morning? Oh my gosh. I like opened up one eye and my husband <laughs> was getting dressed and he kind of looked at me and he goes, yeah, you can't sleep. It's, the, it's those trucks and stuff. Um, so nice that they're redoing our street. I do appreciate that. But I don't know why they can't do it like from, you know, 10 until 2 would be great because I'm down in my craft room most days. And then if they're gone by 2, then they're gone when I want to be in my hammock and read my book. <laughs> so I am reading right now. I am reading um, the biography of Edith Holden. Oh my gosh, so, so interesting and just, just really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I thought I would just read that. I think it's just going to be fun to kind of know more of her story. And, um, yeah. Let's see, 
I am going to go like this. And like this. And we can do that up that there, that there, or down here, whichever. It's gonna work better. Okay. Um, I think I want some of this. Yeah, I have had fun with these coffee dyed papers. I hope you guys have too. They are, they're just, they're a fun neutral. <laughs> you know, they're neutral really, but they have a lot of pattern to them still. All you guys have been giving me advice about how to print to the edge and I appreciate that I just haven't tried it yet so many things so many things to do and you know yesterday I did my couple videos I hope I didn't sound too bleh on the videos because um I didn't feel very good yesterday is that weird when you have just a it really was just a nondescript kind of yucky queasy feeling um i don't know maybe i ate something or something i don't know nothing really out of the ordinary that i could think of but i don't know okie dokie so let's get this let's get this show on the road so this one maybe we will i think i'm just gonna tear that the width of the paper ish <laughs> I'm, I'm all thumbs all thumbs are not enough fingers or I don't know what I've got going on here um yeah so it's kind of been rather quiet around here nothing too much to nothing too much to talk about really we've just been doing our thing my husband is off today to uh his school district you know i've told you he's been doing some work for them so oh that's that's fun isn't it um so that's good keep him out of trouble today for a little while <laughs> keep him out of my hair for a little while no he's so good um, oh, I have some exciting news. You know, the great thing about this is it doesn't matter if you go upside down, sideways, whatever. It's all the same. Um, what's exciting is I, my daughter, my middle daughter from Denver, which we're going to visit my youngest daughter who had double digit, little Bucky, um, our little buckaroo. She, um... We're going to visit her and then and then we're taking a second trip uh like a month later, a little or so, a little more than a month later, to see my um my middle daughter and that is the one where I um I think I told you last time maybe that I am gonna do a meet and greet, hopefully meet my subbies in the area. And my daughter got a venue all reserved. And so that was exciting. Okay, so there's that one. Um, really, one piece will do you on these, won't it? As far as a, a piece of Tracy's and a piece of, of this. And it's, it's working just fine. Just fine. I can tear this. Um, so anyway, that's exciting. It's going to be, um, she has a lake house at her subdivision. I think I told you guys this already. But anyway, she got it. She got it all reserved. So it's all set for when we get there. So that is super exciting. I think that's going to be really fun. 
Okay, I want some of this right there. Gosh, I love this type. It's just so cool. I guess I'll just cut it off where it's a little long. Sure is, sure is fragile paper though. It's like, whew. It's, it's old. <laughs> it's old. Okay, and then need a little piece for this one. I wonder if I have, yes, I have a little more piece in my, in my box here. Hmm, I would like that to be a different height. So, we'll just make a different one. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm going to work on, let me get this video in, on, up, <laughs> whatever, and then, and then I'm going to make another one. We're going to have a totally different subject matter because I'm going to be just about done with this journal here soon. So that is good. Okay, let's um, get to gluing here. Yeah, so I won't um, probably put this on Etsy until when we get back. Oh my gosh, my glue stick is an absolute mess. I'm going to say that's me, not my granddaughters. <laughs> <did that. laughs> oh, um, yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know any news, you guys. Oh, I do. I have to tell you about the um, the documentary that we watched last night. Holy cow. So my daughter, my middle daughter that we're going to go see that's setting up the, you know, the meet and greet and stuff. Uh, she sells Arbon and... She's very much into the nutrition part of it all. And she recommended this uh, documentary. It's called Fed Up. And Katie Couric was the executive producer and, of course, narrates it and everything. Um, we have to cut a little of that off, I'm afraid. You know what? I would rather have that under. I wonder if I can... For a moment... Um, anyway, Katie Couric, you know, who's, gosh, isn't she just cute as a bug's ear? She's just the cutest thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, she did the, did the narration. She produced it and everything. Um, and it's kind of about obesity in America and why. Yeah, it was really interesting. Really interesting. My husband and I are looking at each other like, holy cow. We did not know half of this when we were, you know, raising our family, let alone feeding ourselves. <laughs> yeah, so. It certainly gave pause to everything, but... And it's just inter it's interesting to me how um, the problems with the food that we eat are also related to politics and, um, you know, food groups that are, that lobby and, you know, that kind of stuff. Gosh, interesting. I learn it's a learn something new every day sort of a deal. How'd I have that this way, didn't I? So so yeah, that was interesting. And it, there were some recommendations for a few others. I find those interesting. You know, my kids raising their children, they're really they are super aware of sugar. So aware of it. I never was. I mean it's in everything. 
It is in everything. So, yeah. It's just kind of kind of interesting to hear about it all. Hope this once again watching me collage isn't too isn't too snooze worthy. But I needed to get these done. So we'll get this side done and we'll maybe decorate, maybe do a little of the other side. I don't know. I don't know. Just got to get them done because I think this is about the last bit for this. And, um, yeah. Okay, time for a new piece of paper. <laughs> Is sticky. I remembered to turn on my diffuser, so I have all sorts of extreme focus going on today. I'm sure you'll notice a difference. <laughs> or not, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of fun to have my husband off onto his, out to his school, because I... It's not that I feel guilty when I'm in my craft room because he has stuff, but when he has something like going to the school or mowing the yard or something, I just feel totally guilt-free in my craft room. Not like I should be somewhere else. However, this afternoon, what needs to happen is I'm going to go out and um, do some deadheading in my garden. Oh my gosh, my daisies are spent. And it's mostly in my little perennial garden. It's more, it's kind of more wildflowers. It's on the side of our house and it's kind of more wildflowers. I noticed my poor husband trying to mow, they're just flopping over into the, into the yard. So I need to get out there and take care of that. That's kind of that's kind of more my thing than his, the flower gardens that is. He has his herb garden and he loves that. He turns into, I don't know if it's Simon or Garfunkel, but one of them when he's out there singing parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> oh, that guy. That's another thing I'm excited about for the Denver uh, meet and greet is the whoever comes, they're going to get to meet my husband because he's going to be there. And, and my daughter, she will be there too. So yeah, that's, I just think it's a fun idea. I'm excited. I think it'll be really fun to meet you guys. Hopefully, or like I said, my daughter and I and my husband will have coffee. And a lot of rolls, or whatever we, I don't know. My daughter's going to point me toward a good, like, coffee shop or something to bring in a coffee service for it. So, yeah. Let's just be coffee with my peeps, I hope. Okay, so, got those. Um, I think we could do a bunch of different things on these, couldn't we? I still have a couple of the flower journal cards. Have those. I have the tickets. Front that's from the uh Lorello kit. Lorella kit. Um, but I also was thinking about my Mrs. Cogs. Let's just put our collage papers all over there. Um Maybe a couple more Mrs. Cog's pictures or something. Yeah, I love that one. They're all so cool. Okay, I don't think there's anything there that I want. I'm going to set that on top of my Tracy stuff over there. I really like that one too. Okay, so of these, my two favorites are this one and this one. So let's cut those out just to have them at the ready. You need to put these in a, 
I have so many Mrs. Cog's full, uh, little holders, it's not even funny. Because, <laughs> you know, I'll print out the whole kit and then use three or four or something. And then I'll have the rest of the kit. But it's fun to go back and use them in different things, though, too. So it's nice to have them already printed, I guess, is what I'm saying. You just need an image for something. You know, if you think about it, Mrs. Cog's Liz Smith, she does quite a service for the junk journal community. I mean, researching all these images and seeing if they're copyright free and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, see, aren't those just lovely? Those are lovely. I love them. And I'm thinking about thinking about these fabrics that I didn't know I had and lace and stuff. Um I'm kind of wondering if it would be fun to have lace on the side um, for the one that's going to be in the belly band. Nope. Nope. It's not, it's not thrilling me. What I'm wondering, though, is about having some of this stuff in back of the pictures. See what do we got going on here? Okay, we're kind of these are all sort of wacky pieces. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Maybe something like that. I'm sorry, I'm way down at the bottom. Maybe with a big old tab. more in the middle. You're not going to be surprised by this, but I need to distress it because I can't, I can't see, can't see what I've got going here until I do. Lost it. Lost it. <laughs> okay. So then, let's see. Um, kind of like that that way. Kind of there. Wondering about a little piece of some other fabric. Come here, a little piece of fabric. About more than I bargained for.
I love this stuff. I don't even know what it is, but it's awesome. And of course, I got it in Happy Mail. So when I when when I use the last piece, I might cry because because there will be no more. Um, let's look in this little sack of stuff from Denise. Okay. Um, she had some really, really nice purpley stuff. I like that. I'm going to I'm going to sew these layers together real quick. I'm not going to move my machine because I've got a mess over here. But I think I can just quick like zigzag that. It's the plan anyway. like that. Do like that. Okay, let's get to gluing. Okay. That's fine, except that's not sticking very well. There we go. Let's stick this down. my fingers okay while I'm holding that I'm gonna get a sip of water oh that's good stuff okay okay and then my thought was to maybe put this on the top like a lot, doesn't it? I'm going to cut it in half. It was just feeling like a little too heavy for me. Ooh, I just had a really big de deja vu. That is so weird when that happens. Okay, I'm going to put that there and we're going to sew around. So that one is done. I'll see where we get to time wise whether or not we whether or not we do any sewing on camera. 
Ooh, this is cute. You might use that. Okay, but let's use this. This is kind of fun. Um, some cray paper. Don't use that very often, do I? But I'm wondering what that would be like to kind of back that. Might be different. Let's go for it. So periodically, Denise has special kits in her um, in her shop, and she will do like a promotional type of video on her channel, which is um, Practice Makes Pretty. And so, if you're ever interested like one time I got a Valentine's one from her and it was really fun made a let's see what did I make with that maybe a traveler's notebook or something and then one time she had a pink one and I made some like graduated journal page it was really kind of it was cool huh who knew you can distress um, great paper. <laughs> Nothing's safe. Nothing is safe. So I still need to do the back too with just, um, more plain papers, don't I? Yes, yes, I do. I want to get that white a little bit. So my cute daughter, the one that just had the baby, she sent me a text this morning and a picture and she was holding him. He was sleeping on her and she said, I just want to stop time. I said, oh, I know. Kind of like that over to the side. And I think I want to just sew it on there. Well. Talk amongst yourself. I'm just going to real quick whip around this. sew that on there I don't know and since I don't have the back on yet that's a good time to do it okay so that is there I feel like I want to do something on the side here but what I'm looking at my laces Put a little lace down there. That's kind of fun. And I have this that we could go down the middle. All out of the snippet box. <laughs> all of it just snippets. Oh yeah. I like that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You know, I mean, I could could just sew that real quick. That's what I think I'll do, just because I don't really need to do glue, really, right? don't have to do glue. I could sew it. They are sort of interchangeable. Okay. Like that. I like it sticking up right there too. 
Okay, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call that one done other than sewing around. I mean it kind of see because I still need to sew that edge. I think what I'll do is flip the lace up when I sew that if I can. That part will be sewn down. I don't know. We'll sew it. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this one, I'm kind of liking it right there, right? But again, it's going to need maybe a little bit of lace or fabric or something to give it a little more texture. Okay. Um, kind of making a tangled mess here, as I usually do. I make a mess, that is. A piece of that. Like that. It's just very simple. I'm going to sew around that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You know, and when I sew around it, I think that'll be just nice how it is. Yep. I'm going to call that one done. This one. What are we going to do with this one? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use a tag. I think I want to punch that out. Cool. I think it might look kind of cool if that shows through. Yeah. Um. Okay, I have an idea. Let's. Okay. I guess we better do this. to sew that too. I think I just might. Okay. Right. Did that. Okay, that's sewn on there. Now, what I was thinking I might like to do is have some mushrooms. I'm trying to think which one of my I saw some mushrooms that I forgot I had. Must not have been in this one. Okay, butter 
butterflies. Butterfly would be nice too. Hmm. Maybe it was one of those fussy cutting. That might have been fussy cutting. I want to. I want a fairly big mushroom is what I'm getting at. Sorry, I've been mumbling been thinking. <laughs> Let's see. What do I have in here? Nope. I don't know. And I got a look up and remember where I um, got those mushrooms. Well, maybe that's not too bad. Nope, I like that one so far. Let's see about this one. This one's kind of tall. I think I like the color of those better. Okay. Some real shoddy fussy cut happening here. <laughs> I, but you know, I think I fussy cut these when my son and I went to Denver and he was driving and I was fussy cutting. So that's my excuse anyway. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Okay, I think I need a little label or something there, don't you? Okay, these are Roxy Creations here that one yep that was easy okay so I think these are on label paper I have an order of label paper coming from the full sheet labels from Amazon okay so I can just sew around that I like that maybe Maybe we want a little topper of some sort on it. Oh, I don't think it needs it. All right, so next we need to, and we have about 10 minutes to do so. Gosh, an hour for four <laughs> pieces of ephemera. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to get rid of these because... They are patterned, and we're just going to get crazy here and get our, geez, that's almost the right size, just that. I think I might just go for that. I think I might. Where's my, right here. Kind of thick. It's cardstock, but that's okay. This will just be a, a thick journaling card is all. And then, yeah, we can just um, I can just go right on there for the back. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what I was talking about. I feel like I've been in the zone making these. I hope I've been talking a little bit. I don't even remember if I have. Oh. I really do have lots I want to get done today. And...
Awesome. And then I'll just toss these over by my sewing machine and we'll sew around the edges and have ourselves some journaling cards. Okay, so there's that one. Yay! It's cute. I like it. Okay. Um, got stuff over here. Extra book pages. They're everywhere. <laughs> okay, so then there's this one. Which I really love how that turned out. I love that little printable. No idea. It came in the kit from uh, Denise. So I have no idea where it came from or anything. But I'm going to get rid of those little things. I sometimes like them. But sometimes they're all bent and going in, uh, in different directions too. And that's not helpful. So... So last night I couldn't sleep, so I was <laughs> stalking real estate. I don't know what it is. It's scrolling through the houses. is relaxing. And it ta I think what it does is it takes my mind off whatever it is I'm thinking about that makes me not be able to go to sleep. Which, I don't know what it was last night. I, I'm not worried about anything or anything like that. It just, I just couldn't sleep. Okay, we're just going to line things up on this one. And one more. One more piece of something. Sorry, I probably have my big old arm over there. This one seems... Yeah, this is a different color. We want to go like that and put this in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Why not? We're finishing these up in a quick hurry. I feel like, dare I say it, I feel like perhaps my scrap bin is going down a bit. That's kind of exciting. But I have been making a fair bit of ephemera here lately. This was, oh, I done my vintage cabinet cards on coffee dyed paper. So this is good to use this piece up. Just cut that off in a second here. Oh, this one has the pretty scrolly thing. I'll do that side. Sorry, I'm off camera again. Jeez. <clears throat> so yesterday, because I wasn't feeling good, I did a little catching up on, I was just sitting on the couch fussy cutting and watching a little on-demand TV and um, <clears throat> watched America's Got Talent the last one of those and then I was watching Songland have you guys watched that it's it's pretty good there's that one we'll sew around um yeah it um it's kind of good this little piece of coffee dyed maybe we'll just tear that off and go sideways a little bit. I think I have some I thought I had some straw paper. I do have some pieces of that. Um okay then I have this that I could there go here just need something for the middle um <clears throat> a little piece of just have a piece of this okay um anyway that's a fun that's a fun show kind of like the voice only um 
songwriters. It's fun to watch. Um, I did see there's gonna there was a commercial on for The Voice coming up. It's gonna start up again, and this time, who was it? I felt like Adam wasn't on it. Now that I say that. So it was Gwen Stefani and Kelly Clarkson, Blake, was it Adam? Huh. I don't know. I hope so. I like Adam. But then I feel like I read something where he was a bit on the outs with the people. I don't know why. So who knows? <laughs> I'm just I'm just filling space, <laughs> talking, just talking about nothing. Um, I think it's just on all of those shows for me. It's the people's dreams coming true that. I always cry out of my granddaughter's laugh at me because I cry. <laughs> oh, but it's just so cool when they've, you know, they've worked so hard and their dreams are about to come true and everything. And sometimes they have sad stories about their lives, you know. I realize that's probably just a thing to draw you in, but it works for me. <laughs> okay, there's that one. That one's good. There she is. Got to sew around her. Okay, one more and we'll be done. Let's see, I've got, I've got this wacky piece. So maybe I could go down the middle if I have stuff for the sides. Let's see. Got coffee dyed paper. Always got coffee dyed paper. Let's see what that would be. Oops, that's just a really small piece. What's this? Not quite thick enough. Darn. Let's see. I'm digging down to the bottom of my little thing here to see if there's something that will work. Could you write on that? Nah. And then we just need a little piece at the bottom and we've got it. That one first, then that one, then this one. And what do we want down there? Maybe that. I think I saw a piece of graph paper down here. Where is it? Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> I do like, um, while I'm watching TV, just doing the backs of journal cards because then, you know, you've got that part kind of done. The only trouble is, is if you decide you want to sew on the front like I did around those images, then either have sewing marks in your writing space, which I guess is no big deal. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Try and smush that piece out. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ugh. I didn't want to change out my book page because I'm almost done, but I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to. It's too sticky. Let's go this way with this one. Alrighty then, well thanks for crafting with me you guys while I got these journaling cards done because you know, I really, I truly can hardly craft without you anymore. Um, sewing is good though, I don't mind, I don't mind. It's sticky already. Don't mind sewing without you, but really do, really do enjoy your company. So what I'm going to do now is give that a little, let's see where we're at. We're past, so you don't need to watch me ink the back. I need to ink the backs of these three and then, and then get them sewn. So once again, there we go. Here's what we did today. Some journaling cards. Woohoo, woohoo. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching, and we'll just see you next time. Have a grateful day. Bye bye.